So, six rounds at welterweight. Florian Markham, the man could fill the 5,000 seat arena with just his friends. At some point, he might put 20,000 bums on seats to watch him. Tonight, though, second up, he's got to use one. every single bit of what he's been learning since he paired up with the trainer, Don Charles, because he's going to have to be a smarter Florian Marku tonight. We know he likes to fight. And he sure does, Bunty. You know, he, and I think tonight he's going to want to fight even more because he's had an injured hand. He's just gotten it, gotten it uh, in, uh, healed up, repaired. So he's going to be looking to fire it off. And there, come, see him coming out with that aggressive mentality. Sharp. You know, we're really missing out tonight with Marco because he usually comes with such a big fan base. And really, the, the arena, you can feel the energy out of the arena. And tonight, it's really a shame. It's part of the COVID situation. Obviously, we're happy to be having fights. But it's a, such a shame to not be able to have the fan base of Florian Marco here because he's really, really one of the bigger sellers. I don't want to talk too much about that longing for the crowd because we're in a privileged position. Paulie, all of us here working. We're actually at fight. That's a good shot. Left hook to the top of the... It's a body shot, but it was also a shot to the temple. That's what caused his legs to go that way. That's a good shot. And we are in big trouble here after just a minute and five seconds of the first round. It was a, le it was a body shot and a left hook high on the temple. And you see, you can see Marco not shy about letting the hands go, you know? You can see, you can tell he's confident in the, even the hand that was injured, letting those shots go with both hands. He's hurt. This guy's hurt. He's really hurt. It's a temple shot, Paul. You get caught with those. You don't come. They hurt you. You know? you, your head might be clear, but your body doesn't react. It affects your equilibrium. Exactly. Bingo. Your head might be clear, but your equilibrium is not there. Exactly. Great point, Bunty. And this guy's still trying to. Trick. He's still trying. Of course he is. Oh, big shot by Marco. That's all over. Yeah. Wow. What a shot. That was a good statement and a good finish and a good stoppage. Florian Marco. Kieran McCann, the referee there, intervening like I knew he would. He is a good referee. Florian Marku, I like him. He's put in a bit of a bit of skill and a bit of thought and a bit of care behind what he what he did. I know it was the first round, then there were three knockdowns, but trust me, that was a different look at Florian Marku. Well, absolutely. Again, he, he he's coming off the injured hand, and he, you could see the confidence he had in, in throwing both hands easily. So you can tell that he had he had practiced with the hand in the gym. You could tell that the hand was healed up, and you could tell he knew that the hand was healed up because the confidence never left him. He he threw both hands with bad intentions, and you could see in the result that when they landed, he got the dynamite out of there. Let's check out these replays here. Body shot. Oh, it's a terrific body. Two great body shots, but it's the temple shot that makes his legs go. and 41 seconds of round number one for your winner and still undefeated Florian TNT Marku of course first of all I want to say some words in Albania Falim dhe it's gjithve për përkrajen ju kam than që unë kur futem branda në ring jap shpirdin se kjo është qa e dua më shumë ju përshëndez gjithve falim dhe it për përkrajen